Hello and welcome to the Cobb Brothers Podcast. This is episode 140. And um, as usual, I'm joined by my friends and co-hosts, Bjorn Dorr. That's me. And Colton. That's him. And our special guest this week, Hilly. Thanks for joining us. Yes. Thanks for having me, boys. Indeed. It's always a pleasure, you know. Fucking A. It is the weekly gathering of boys. It is the weekly gathering. For an hour or so. Yeah, yeah, I've been adjusting the the studio, getting us moved around and all that. Um, Finally realizing how much extra shit we have laying around. And I don't know why it's there, but it's there. No. <laughs> yeah, dude. No, it's not that bad, but it's like, oh, fuck. Where do I put this? Where do I put that? You know, the game. Yeah. But it's not too bad. Um, We do have a lot of cool shit. A lot of projects we should uh, start start messing with, you know. I'd a lot down. of new room, new opportunities. Uh, I was I was thinking of topics to talk about, but I couldn't really come up with anything other than last week it was like January, and now we're in April. Yeah, yeah, no kidding. Huh? Had birthdays, and like it's all happened within a week. Like no, uh, new, new Year's happened, and it was like wow, it's 2024. That's wild, and it dragged on for a minute, and all of a sudden it's April. Yeah. Um. Time flies, bro. Yeah, does it not, bro? Like our parents used to tell us, like, don't grow up too fast. It and just, like, you never, just, like, no, I want to drive a car, or I want to do this, or do that, you know. But then you get there, and you got bills and responsibilities, and uh, you know, life. My bad, guys. <laughs> and then all of a sudden, it sucks no matter how old you are. Yeah, no, that's that's fair. No laws suck. The laws do suck. That's why I think Kanye should go like, for president. The whole plot of Red Dead 2. Like, that is an absolute no, being sir. Being in, in the unclaimed <laughs> land. Really? No, who said... Uh... Oh, man, I can't remember anyways. Um, new movies. Have you guys seen fucking Roadhouse with McGregor? No. No. Oh, my God. Watch the new Roadhouse. Do yourself a favor. It's on Amazon Prime. It's fucking fantastic. Jake Gyllenhaal, uh, Conor McGregor. Um, that's about all the, the notable. Was good. The old Roadhouse I've never seen, but this Roadhouse was funny as all fuck. Uh, same concept. Connors in it. From what I understand, dude, Conor McGregor plays a fucking fabulous asshole in this movie. He's a great villain, honestly. Sounds accurate. Yeah, dude. You gotta make him an asshole, you know? He's, and he's it's, already an asshole. It's not really like a serious movie. It's kind of like a goofy fighting movie, you know? But mm-hmm, he mm-hmm. plays the role very well as a villain. Um, I wonder how hard it was for him to, like, fake punch or hit people. You know what I mean? Like, Yeah, yeah, for sure. But, I mean, it's it's he's used to moving his body around like that. True. Doing it in a, in a way... I don't know. That'd be interesting. Doing it, doing you know it, the difference between the well. two. Probably I don't know if I mentioned this before, but like one of the new movies I've seen uh, was a. Uh, I think I already told you all about it. But it was uh, Kung Fu Panda Four, bro. That shit was pretty fire. Oh yeah, I've heard good things. I mean Jack Black. So what um, are the movies they got coming out, bro? Uh, Monkey Man, or whatever it is that new. Have you all seen that? Mm 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 mm. It's like uh, from the some of the producers that made uh, John Wick, and it has uh, Jordan Peele is one of the producers too. It's like about this uh, kid that like watched one of his parents die to this dude when he was a kid. Yeah. And uh, it's basically a John Wick movie, but it's kung fu instead of guns. What was it called? It's like I think it's called Monkey Man. Okay, okay. Let me double check real quick. Because now that you say that, it reminded me that another Keanu Reeves movie is getting revamped. Did you guys see the concept trailer for Constantine 2? 
Uh, yeah, they've been talking about doing a Constantine 2 for a, a minute now. Have they? I don't think I've seen yeah, it, but it sounds familiar. Keanu's always said he was on board for it, and I believe they're actually filming it. Or okay. it's done filming and it's in post already, something like that. Fucking A. That'd be cool too, right? That was a cool movie. Yeah, that'd be sick. Because that had... Spoiler alert for a 20-year-old movie at this point. Uh, Constantine gets like resurrected at the end by the devil because the devil doesn't want him going to heaven and he wants to give him a chance to screw up again. Right, right. Damn. Gotta check it out. Yeah, definitely worth the watch. No, I've never seen Constantine. And you know what's funny? Oh, like, it, it, you guys it, were talking it, about... It's Sorry, a Marvel ahead. franchise. <laughs> oh, for real? Yeah. Marvel or DC? I don't remember which one. Yeah, no, I don't... I don't but it, it's based off of a comic. Fucking A. No, but like, uh, this is not a new movie, but you guys are talking about Keanu Reeves. Um, and I've never seen him, but they had the, I think, what, the fourth? All four of the John Wick movies on Netflix. Oh, yeah, John Wick's. I've been watching them late. I think I, only, I barely watched the second John one. John Wick is so good. It you know me, bro. Them. I'm always lacking, so I had to get There's rumor it. Of, a, of a fifth John Wick movie, even though the way that they ended the fourth one. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, I think I heard about that one. What did you say, Brandon? Uh, sorry, someone was like honking their horn and that was like really loud outside my window. Uh, uh, yeah, if you haven't seen the fourth one, it's going to be really hard to make a John Wick 5. Yeah. It's like, all the way for you to say it. Well, granted, the way... So, I will say the way they pan away kind of leads... Because, like... I don't know. It, it, it's definitely a possibility. Did yeah. he die? They Allegedly. they heavily imply that he does. Okay. Okay. The the, the, the he, they they imply that he does, but it's more of he's set free is like what the movie's trying to say. In a way. Well, yeah, but well, like so, like spoiler alert. He gets shot a shitload. Yeah. And then, like, there's, like, a dialogue that happens between him and the guy that runs the Continental. Um, mm -hmm. And then he goes and, like, he, yeah, Winston. Yeah, he tells Winston to, to take him back home. And then he goes and sits down on the stairs and then, like, leans over. And then it ends. And, and then and then they, they pan back to America and... Of like his headstone sitting next to his wife's headstone, so they imply oh, okay. that he died. Okay, okay. Oh, but yeah, bro. I've been I've been getting into that shit, and I'm like, damn, bro. How how have I gone so long not watching these movies? What the fuck is wrong? But yeah, like what that, I was talking. That about movie's been out for a minute yet, yet. So I I don't mind doing a spoiler. Just do like like a b -b 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 spoiler thing before that. Yeah. Bit. But what I was talking about earlier, the Monkey Man, it came out March 11th of this year, and it's it's essentially, like I said, John Wick with fucking Kung Fu. Yeah, I want to see Beekeeper, the new Statham flick. I think I've seen the trailer one. for that one. Yeah. yeah. Beekeeper, that sounds familiar. I think I just watched uh, the trailer as well. It's the new ago. Statham movie. The one where, like, he's the dude that when people are <clears throat> more corrupt and start getting out of power, he shows up and he's like, I'm a beekeeper. And he just kills all of them. Oh, fuck yeah. Okay. No, I have not seen the trailer for that. It, that it's a standard awesome. Jason Statham movie. <laughs> There's an obstacle and he kicks its ass. Yeah, yeah. Something is too powerful. I have to stop it. This, this game looks so good. That's why they put him in Fast and Furious. And then that series fucking died. Have you ever, or have any of you seen the most recent Fast and Furious movie? I, I stopped never watching watched it after like six. Okay, so I, I've, I grew up a fucking gearhead, right? Like, I loved cars as a kid, so uh, <clears throat> go... As a kid. Well... <laughs> you know, I'm more, you're more, uh, 
susceptible to dumb shit as a kid. So I loved the Fast and Furious movies as a child. The first um, four were fine. The first four will always live up, right? But yeah, everything after that is absolute dog shit. And I watched the most recent one. I think it was like a year ago now. I got five minutes into it and looked at Grace and just said, "We're done." You know, this is this is actually like bad. This is I saw a hard. bit of. I don't know which one, but Dom loses his arm and his leg, and they get replaced by, like, some cyborg dude. What? What the fuck? Yeah! <laughs> I don't yeah, know. No, I think the last one I seen was the, was the one, uh, what was I, it? The seventh am, one? The tribute to Paul? I am not shitting you, man. <laughs> I have not seen that one, but... Yeah, yeah that's fucking. Su- n- I don't know. I think I've seen the sem- seventh one. He uses mind. his arm and his leg, and this like cyborg dude replaces them. And by cyborg dude, I mean a guy that has like a whole bunch of like mods on his body so he can talk and move around and stuff because he's like paralyzed. Hmm. What the fuck, bro? Yeah, I it I'm. It's weird. Did you guys ever check out or watch uh, the one that came out with uh, Hobbs and Shaw? No. Nope. That one was kind of funny. Like it was, it was like they were doing the most, you know. Yeah. But it was pretty funny. I thought it was pretty funny. Yeah, the last Fast and the Furious I really remember <clears throat> anything about is the one where they like stole the vault and then like drove it down the street in Mexico. That was five, and five that was, was Brazil. decent. But yes, it was Brazil. Ironically, isn't that one of the opening scenes in Pirates of the Caribbean 5 too? Yes. Or Rio. Or, or is it 4? When they no, say no you, you're, you're right though, Brandon. They they steal the, the, the safe in that one too and ride it down the when middle of the street. The, they pull the safe out of the thing, yeah. 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 Those are movies that I have been watching again. Is the, Pirates, the, the first three Pirates of the Caribbean. They're decent. Those movies I don't think I've really watched all of them either. The first I got up to, um, fuck, what was the one? The last one I watched, and I think it was actually a couple months ago, was the, uh, fuck, what's he called, bro? Where wow. his old fucking girlfriend comes back that you don't even see. Whose old girlfriend? Uh, Jack's. What? That's a third she's one. She's like a know. Latina bitch, like a Mexican bitch, or. Okay. It's the voodoo is... chick. That, no, 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 no. It's the one that's dressed up like him inside the bar when he. Yes. Oh, yes! that's that's like four or five even. Yeah. I think how many four. is there? There's five of them. Five. There, five. Was, there was gonna be six, but then the Amber and then Heard all the shit with Amber and Heard and Johnny yeah, Depp yeah, yeah. on them, and Johnny Depp is like, "Yeah, I'm not making another Pirates of the Caribbean." So. Yeah, he said he'd never work for one. Disney again. If there's ever another Pirates of the Caribbean, I'm not even gonna watch it. Amber shits on her pillow. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. It's, it, have you guys ever watched the just some of the clips of her lawyers in that whole case? Oh yeah, they got shit on the whole time. Yeah, that's just, just like Johnny Depp's like, mattress. It, it it was like two Jeez. hours of they'd ask a question and then Johnny's lawyer would be like objection to something <laughs> and the judge would be like sustain this has nothing to do with this. And then at one point, one of the lawyers, one of the lawyers was testifying someone that was sided with Johnny, and he asked him a question. He was like, "What? What do you remember of such and such?" And then and he objected before he even and responded. He was like, he was like, well, what this person literally repeated back to him? Well, this person that you just asked me to said to me, "Objection, uh, hearsay." And judge went, "You just asked the question." Yeah. Like, <laughs> yeah, that whole situation is fucking stupid, bro. And what I thought was funny about it too is like, uh, fuck, uh, you know how like she was trying to like throw him under the bus about like I don't know if it was like something that had to do with like coke or whatever, right? And, like talk about oh he do drugs or he'd be doing this and he wasn't even like denying shit, right? But whole time bitch was on the stand, she was yak the fuck out, like you know, do, like thinking oh, yeah, that she was she slick. Was yak yacked, dude. You know um, what I mean? Like laughing at what someone, what, what her lawyer whispered in her ears, started laughing, looked at the camera, and went, "Oh yeah," and then made a frowny face, like, 
bro. I'm just like, what the Dude, fuck? This is in a movie. They, so you're in a courtroom. There's a clip of her clearly taking a bump. Yes, the dude, literally. literally. Like, like yeah. she's like, we're just gonna clearly, pretend that She's clearly taking one, like. Because what was the final verdict? I think, like, it, Johnny Depp was, was innocent. But you, well, because there was like a bunch of different charges, and I think would like in total, he was found guilty of a couple things that was like put to the verdict of seven million dollars but then she had to pay to him 30 million 40 million or whatever it was so it didn't even matter he he didn't he didn't have to pay anything it like balanced out to that yeah but that, but that was just on the small things that they caught on him of doing whatever in an argument and it could prove it but it wasn't anything that was pooping on a bed like <laughs> pooping on a bed boop 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 yeah, I, I love how she was like, yeah, he had, like, a jar of cocaine, and he's like, a jar of dirt? Like, he mouths a jar of dirt after she says that. Like, Johnny's sitting up there, he's like, a jar of dirt? He's like, it's my jar of dirt. I got a jar of dirt. Because he kept like, the prop from the movie, and she mm-hmm. tried to say it was a big-ass jar of cocaine. Like, let's bitch. be real, though. That guy could afford a fucking jar of cocaine. No, nah, dude, and like uh, when he was being no way he's gonna whatever, have it sitting out on a coffee table, man. That's that's valid too. No, but at the same time, like like every time he was like being asked or whatever, like, oh, did you do this? Did you do that? Like, he would he would honestly fucking yeah, just answer. He wouldn't deny shit, or or he'd be like he'd be like, yes, I did that. Yes, I did this. Yes, yeah, he did he did. He like, did. Uh, I don't know about that one, chief. Like you know, yeah, <laughs> just like uh, yeah. <laughs> the funniest you know, shit was with the texts. Like, uh, did you say this? Uh, yeah, that's that's what it looks like. It's like I don't that's know. What just it text I don't know. <laughs> yeah, that shit that's was. That's what it appears to be. That's that's what everyone already knows. That that is what it says. What is your question? Is that what you said? Yes, that is what I said. And I said this. No, it's a yes or no question, Johnny. Is yes or no? Said, yes, that's what I said. Everyone yeah, already she's... knows that's what he said. <laughs> she's such a piece of shit. Moving on. So, because I was like, "Oh, new Jason Momoa movie. He's a good actor." Yeah. Unfortunately, I'm not gonna watch Aquaman. So like, the funny thing about the newest Aquaman, though, is they basically reduced <laughs> Amber Heard's part in that movie to a point where it comically breaks the movie because, like, she's there in a couple of scenes, and then like she's just. Absent in a whole bunch of other spots where she should be. Damn. So they probably already filmed most of it. Huh? It's done. It's out. No, no, but yeah. I mean, like during the filming and shit, like they probably oh, already yeah. had everything done and shit, and then that whole yeah, they, situation happened, and then you know, they just cut her out of it. Afterwards. Yeah. The director of Aquaman was sitting there watching the trial, being like, "Okay, what do I have to?" cut out of this movie what's it gonna be <laughs> which cut am i gonna release it sucks though because like the first one was decent at least for me bro like the first time i watched it i was on two tabs of acid fucking a I think so i felt I like think... i was in the movie traveling with these fools like when they went from like the pyramids or from the ocean into like the pyramids and shit in the desert i was like yo this is wild I think if you do that before you watch any movie, it's going to be insane. A little bit. Good times. Pop two pieces of paper, but walks in to see Saving Private Ryan. Walks out a war veteran. <laughs> I don't think I've seen that movie either. Bro. That one's an old ass one, though. That came out, th- I think, 98. I think the year I was born. Um, that's a fucking crazy movie. <clears throat> you're like, oh, I'm gonna watch a war movie, and then you're ten minutes into it, and you're like, shaking, <laughs> and it's just started. Like, where's my gun? No, it's not. Where's my gun? It's where's my arm? Yeah. Sound that great. Yeah, nineteen ninety eight. Two hours and forty nine minutes long. Jesus. 
So Tom speaking Hanks about, oh sorry, Vin Diesel. Vin Diesel's in that movie. Really? Oh, yeah, Wait, Vin what movie? movie? Saving Private Ryan. Yeah, what? He's the guy that he's the guy the that gets shot of... in the middle of the street, and it, then he it, get, it, then it, then uh, it, Forrest Gump were... takes the note out of his pocket. It was it was huh. he was they, they were they got to the first town after they got their orders from Omaha <laughs> Beach. And they were going through that time when it was all rainy and shit, and they came across that French family. And Caparzo was like, I have to take her with us, or she reminds me of my niece. And then yeah. And then he, they took the kid from her, was bringing it back up to her, and then Caparzo got shot. Huh. By, the sni- by the sniper that um, the, their you know, sniper the... puts the round through his scope. Yeah. Oh, was... okay. Yeah. I know that scene very well. Yeah. It, it's... I was like, oh my god. Vin Diesel was the guy that the, the Germans they got shot. It is it is such a great movie. Like Desert Island movies, Saving Private Ryan is probably my number one. I don't know what the other movies would be. I'd have to think about that. But fucking dude, I fucking hate the favorite. app. The actor that plays Upham in everything he is in. Upham. The the chicken shit guy that uh, leaves oh. the Jewish guy to get knifed. Yeah. No, but the, it, one, with all, the it, one with all the ammunition that doesn't get the ammunition to the guys in time and gets them well, all killed. He, he wasn't a soldier though. That was that was the whole thing about his character in the movie. He didn't know how to act. He was literally just a kid being no a kid who got an order to go in. He was there to type on a typewriter. He was enlisted. Like many were in World War Two, you were either enlisted or you were working in a factory. Yeah, like it... <laughs> but the the thing is, is you're expected to take up arms when required. The first scene and... that you see him in in the movie, he says, "I have." He, or Miller asks him, "Do you have a gun?" He's like, "Yeah, I have a gun, but I haven't fired it or I haven't used it since basic training." He said, "Did you yeah. fire it?" And he was like, "You well, yes." And he was like, "Well, then get your gear." He literally yeah, exactly. fired the gun maybe twice. And that was probably the two times that he shot in his whole life. But at still, the, he's, you he's gotta, a you gotta, shit. I have, my point is, at the end, he, he gets the revenge on the guy that killed the guys. He, after, he, well, he, 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 he lets it happen, though, twice. Because, well, like, he's the, whole, he's the whole reason, like, um... Some of the other guys are dead in the first place because he let that one guy go. Well, he didn't. The guy from the the guy, from the guy from the guy from the machine gun nest. Caparzo's the one that talked him into letting him go. No, not Caparzo. Or not uh, Caparzo. Upham. Upham, yeah. Upham was the one that talked into let talked to them into letting him go. Hmm. And we, then he also we, and then he also we, lets the other guy get knifed. So he, should, he's a chicken shit. We should make a video of watching Saving Private Ryan for the first time with Helmar. Okay. And getting Helmar's reactions to the big parts of the movie. I'm so down right, for that. If you want that. my reaction for anything, you bro, oh, sorry, don't mean to interrupt you, but like, you can get a fucking reaction for anything that I haven't watched or have watched, and it would probably be gold just because I'm an emotional little bitch, bro. I'd be getting into it. You know, well, you right. also have to watch my top three then, because my top is... three are good: Full Metal Jacket, Fury, and Sisu. Yep. yep. No. 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 I still need to watch none of that. Sisu. Yes, you fucking do. Everybody bare needs to watch bare, Sisu. Bare minimum. What were you saying though, Brandon? Full Metal Jacket. Full oh, Metal sure. Jacket. Yeah. Like bare minimum, you have to watch that one. Saving Private Ryan and Full Metal Jacket are two important ones, but I agree. Even though Saving Private Ryan is my favorite, you have to watch Full Metal Jacket. Like it, it, it is. Put Saving on the Private list. Ryan's gritty, but it that movie starts so much differently gritty. If yeah. you pay it, if you pay attention, um, in the rifle range scene in that movie, you can actually see, um. What's his name? Pocket ammunition for later. Um, hmm. uh, God damn it! It was my name on Private Pile. Yeah, you, you can you can see him you can see him pocket the ammo. 
um like if you watch it when they're at the rifle range when he pulls the mag out of the rifle it still has rounds in it oh that's right and he fucking puts the mag back yeah. or he like tucks it back under or something yeah, oh my then, god yeah. i just watched the movie i, I fucking know that scene Part dude like damn good shooting son like he didn't notice it because he was he had his eyes down range looking at where he was shooting yeah yep fucking brilliant no, it's it's for for the time it was a wonderful movie. It's it's gruesome and it's got its gross not, scenes, not but it's fucking yeah, yeah, not wonderful, but not wonderful. Awesome. But the it's, what the movie, how movie. the movie depicts it is is where it's good. Yeah, like the gruesomeness of it is being at film. at war in that time of humanity, I guess. Another one from that time. Have you any of you guys seen uh, We Were Soldiers? Yes, We Were Soldiers yeah. is great nope. fucking movie too. Like Mel Gibson. Yep. Helmut, we gotta no, show movies. you some. We gotta show you some more movies, dude. No, dude, literally, yeah. dude. Like I said, get my reaction on anything we watch. Y'all yeah. gonna have the best time of your lives, bro. Cause I, be I'm a, just gonna get clowned on. That, that could be a new thing that we do on the channel. Helmut reacts to, and we just show him a movie and flip it to like a. 30 minute video of the hell yeah like, we can do that with star wars you haven't seen star wars yes remember we've we've talked about this on multiple we probably, episodes we, we probably have it, it gets yes. lost with all the movies i haven't seen but yeah <clears throat> i always say i'm the real life patrick start and it's like under a fucking rock boy under a fucking rock bro. Yeah, I don't... A starfish laying on a rock um Shit, what was I going to say? Uh, oh. Well, I was just going to mention that my grandfather was going to be a helicopter pilot in Vietnam. Um, but he got honorably discharged because his father passed away beca before he got uh, deployed. But anyways, yeah, he was a huge, like, war movie fan. Like, fanatic, you know? Like, he was all about that I honestly think it was because, like, he missed being there and he regrets not being able to go. I'd imagine he lost some friends. I never got to talk to him about it, but, yeah, that guy fucking loved him some army movies, military movies, like, whatever, you know. Okay. My dad was the same way and he was a Vietnam vet. Yeah. I was about to say, Colson, what, everything he just said made me think of your dad. Fucking A. Fucking A. Indeed. I don't know. I can't say the same about my dad, but, like, um, I think he's kind of the reason why I'm hella into, like, kung fu and, like, action movies, because I grew up, like, he was hella into, like, Jackie Chan and Jet Li and just a bunch of fighting yeah, movies type no, shit, you know? That still counts, you know? It's, all, it's, it's getting your passion for certain things from your parents, who you look up to. Yeah, dude. Like, yeah. like a lot of it had to do with, like, because Homie was really into, like, martial arts himself, too, you know? And he was always trying to get me or try to teach me some shit, you know, but most of it, like the way I see it now, you know, I'm always like, oh, if you can't throw hands or whatever, like anyone can shoot someone. Right. But if you can't throw hands, like you're a bitch. And I was like that for the longest. But now I'm like, dude, I don't even want to fight you. I'll probably shoot you in your kneecaps. <laughs> um, you know what I mean? Like, like, fuck, dude. Um, but, I don't got any energy for this. <laughs> yeah. And like. But I, I think moral of the fucking story and all of that is just, like, it was cool because it was, like, that was another form of respect. You know what I mean? Like, it's rare for someone to fucking be down to throw hands and shit and then, like, be cool afterwards, you know? Yeah. But, like, I guess so. A lot of fighting movies, like, kind of... Bring that like, shit back. Shows that, I guess. Yeah, exactly. Right, right. No, it's... it's... I don't know. weird like i remember when i was uh 13 he took me to go watch uh karate kid when it came out the one with the jackie chan and shit right yeah and for him it was like hella nostalgic because he he was hella into the old one and i ain't never seen the old one back then well, the um, old ones are definitely better than the jackie chan one that is for oh for sure absolutely for sure. damn sure for sure but it was still a pretty good one in my opinion um I get what you mean, Helmar, with, like, not get what you mean because I've ever, like, been a fighter or anything, mm -hmm. but I have Welsh and, like, 
Czechoslovakian blood that's like, oh, when I play a game when it's an honorable fight, <laughs> you know, I think that's yeah, when I really got the aggression out in. I never got aggressive with anybody, like, fighting them in real in real life except for like my brother when we were kids <laughs> and if you have if you have a brother it's it's a it's a bloodbath see I and i didn't have any i had my sister and my older cousins and they're all females but like they'll beat my ass you know what i mean like <laughs> so uh, it was like i wasn't always like a fighter or nothing like i was always scared shitless of everything bro like and and then like they kind of helped me toughen up and like you know learn how to take shit and not be a bitch about shit and then i had to learn how to control that because then i got out of hand and started wilding out you know david you remember bro oh, fucking yeah. i was ready to fight and quick to fight anyone for oh you're fucking with my homie fight me bro or, yeah. you know, like stupid <laughs> shit bro like stupid shit just like, looking for a tumble let's go right <laughs> yeah dude i was like cash me outside bitch before she was even thought of like but you don't even have to catch me outside, bro. Catch me right here, right now. But like I said, now I'm like, fuck that. I can't do that, no, bro. Dude, that would just got you shot at the school I went to. What? Talking shit like that would have just gotten you shot at the school I went to. <laughs> Sounds accurate. What, Was... ghetto school or what? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we. Uh, I went to a middle school right in the middle of. Gang or another. Yeah, yeah, that's kind of how. Well, the area of my middle school was not that great. My middle school itself wasn't too bad, other than kids getting in fights all the time. See, Did the you only that, that I can think things of. Things that started out, things that started out as fights, usually ended up turning into gunshots. Yikes! And that's the problem. like so much has developed in the sparks area in the last i i've lived here for all in this house for like almost 20 years and it, it, so much has changed legends didn't exist when i moved here yeah like, yeah shields and all that we lived we lived over on the more tr uh trucky side of town whatever that road is i-80 going towards california we lived on that side of town and whenever we went to sparks i was like look it's the s mountain i was i always remember being like oh we're moving towards the s mountain and now i look back at, at it now and i'm like oh that's just the sparks boulevard off ramp because we went to wild island and that's where i remembered it so much from fucking and now i look at it, it's like damn that used to just be desert 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 a water park sitting next to a highway and an Outback Steakhouse. Those yeah. two things have been there. It's the longest I've fucking lived here, dude. Fuck yeah. They keep fucking building, buying land, and developing on it. Reno is booming. It's fucking weird. No, it's crazy you say that, too, because I kind of remember, like, growing up, when they were building the fucking Legends, right? I, I felt like it took a minute for them to build that, right? Obviously. Yeah. Um. Yeah. But when it was finally done, whatever, it was like, oh, shit. How much time has passed, bro? You know what I mean? Like, a couple of years, like... Yeah. Dude, nowadays, it's like, I'll go a month or two without going down a certain street, and all of a sudden, I go down it for the first time. There's a whole new apartment building built there. Yeah, like, whole, dude! The You're like, yo, that wasn't here before? Like, on Victorian Avenue, like, the whole Victorian Square. Oh, thing yeah. Right there by the Nugget. Dude, I didn't look at the Nugget, bro. Like, this is another thing. With, when the Nugget got a new paint job, I didn't notice that for months. Right. The last the last time I saw it, it was its tan color, and then I had to drive across town for something, and I thought I was having a fucking, like, <laughs> what's a Mandela effect. I looked at the nugget, and I was like, there's no way this is happening. That is not the color it should be. <laughs> right. <laughs> and I looked it up, and I was like, okay, they did paint it. <laughs> it's I felt when they redid the Reno sign. Apparently, Fuck there's, they're, apparently uh, they're building a uh, a Welcome to Spark sign. Yeah, like it's what it, the fuck? It's supposed to say like the nicest little city in the world or something. I think you know, that was uh, April's Fool joke though by the City of Sparks. Was it okay? Oh. Dude, they they should totally do that though. They should. Yeah, it'd be funny. I don't know it's about nicest city though. It's, 
Because there's, I don't know what the technical boundary be- between Reno and Sparks is, but in my head, it is where Audi Boulevard turns into, um, what does it turn into? You know what I mean? Yeah, and that's pretty much what is that accurate. Um, West. New? No. Two fifty. Two fifty. South. 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 No. No. Sutro. Hold on. No. no. What is it? We're gonna know it as soon as we hear it. We're blanking. Well, you, um, you know what I'm I mean? on. I'm on maps, so just give me a second. Yeah. Oh, it just turns yeah. to I Street. No, that's not right. Yep, I'm looking on maps. No, no, no. Audi turns to I Street other at Pyramid. Time, maybe. And Pyramid's no, pretty much all the cutoff. I think he's talking about going towards the other way. I'm Instead of Sparks, like... you're going towards, like, downtown? It, like, yeah, kind of. Like, you know how Audi goes, like, where Bizarre Guitar is at? And it goes there, and you go down a little bit, and it turns. It, you go past. Uh, you go under 395 on Audi, and then you go forward a little bit more, and you turn. You, it curves left. The convention center's right there, and then. Uh, Going towards I- Wells. Audi's, Wells. That's the street. I Audi turns into Wells. It's the same yeah. road. That's what I was trying to say. Oh, uh, when Loma. it turns, okay. Yeah, yeah, because yeah, yeah. no, I was over here envisioning like driving I, down that yeah, road. Yeah, I didn't mean like you turn onto a street. I meant like the road just keeps it curves and it changes yeah. into a different street. Audi turns into okay. Wells. That is that is in my head. It's a long story short. Sorry, I didn't mean to send us all in that ramble. That's where I picture uh, the the boundary between between Sparks and Reno is when Audi turns into Wells. Yeah, I think it's actually <laughs> at I eighty because Audi is doing construction right now. And I think we have half the job site with the city of Sparks and the other half with the city of Reno. It makes sense. So I think 395 is the legitimate, like, barrier. And then, like, over on our side of McCarran, it would be, um, I think Greg Street. No, no. On the other side of the river. So that's Mill. Yeah. So it's actually a pretty fucking big area. Because, yeah, all of that... Basically, the Truckee River north, and then 395 east. 395 east and north? Well, yeah, everything... I'm sorry. Also, north also turns into Sun Valley and stuff, but... Yeah, and Sun Valley is kind of its... Uh, Sun Valley goes back to C- City of Reno. So it's real. Yeah. It's weird, but they want to make this Spanish really Springs weird, their right? own their own little fucking area too, like City of Spanish Springs kind of thing, because that's getting that area is getting so big. That area is popping too, yeah. The Winko out there, bro. Best Winko, I'm telling you. Okay, but that Winko is pretty fucking nice. It is, bro. Can that's my friends? I've been to all the Winkos. <laughs> Dude, I was talking to a, a homie about it the other day, or earlier actually. You know what I miss? Uh, I miss 24-hour WalMarts, bro. I miss being bro. able to go to fucking okay grocery shopping at two in the morning, nobody there. Damn. But that was some of the fucking best like late night trips, right? Literally, bro. Literally. Yeah. And no one can get those anymore. That was also some of the best late night trips for thieves. Oh, for sure, yeah. Most definitely. (laughs) I don't know where you guys got your alcohol when you were underage. Period. I was just about to say, (laughs) too, bro. People that were over the age of 21. Yeah, see, when we tried that shit in our days, we got reported. Not me, bro. I mean, I I can't say I didn't get caught a couple times here and there, but nah, bro. That's part of growing up. Yeah. Everybody always you figure out your way. Everyone's young and dumb, and everyone has to fail at something, and like, at everything, you know. Yeah. Even if you, even if you have beginner's luck, at some point you're gonna slip up. Like, there were there were so many parents that just let their kids go parties too. Yeah. Yeah, dude. Literally. 
Like, I remember being a kid and being like, fuck, I wish my, my fam would be like this. And then, like, the older guy was like, no, nah, I'm glad my fam wasn't like that. Like, there was this one chick that threw a party, like, sophomore year of high school, and her mom was the one that bought all of the booze. Hmm. <laughs> See, I don't know. I feel like I would be that type of parent, too, but not even, like... Instead of a party, I feel like it would, like I'd I'd let them have a kickback, but you can't just fucking invite the whole fucking school. It's just a couple homies, you know. There, but even there, then, I'm just like, mm. there were like forty people there. Jesus fuck. Yeah, that's, yeah, nope. yeah nope. that's not a couple friends. That's yeah. And, and that's a fucking that case a too. <laughs> and that was in an apartment. Oh hell no, bro. Yeah. Can you imagine being the neighbor? Like fuck, what the fuck is going on? <laughs> I'm trying to sleep. The cops always got called. Parties. They always yeah. got called. We always had plenty of parties, like when I was living in both of those apartments. But we never had any cops knock on the door and say, like, hey, there's a noise complaint. You know, there was the right amount of people for the room. And I had to, once I got to a certain hour, it's like, that's the hour when pe the cops will actually respond to noise complaints. Quiet down, everybody. Yeah. <laughs> You gotta be respectful to your neighbors because you don't. I, I, my neighbors are awesome. Sometimes they have parties that last until four in the morning and they're just outside <laughs> screaming. And I'm like, I'm not, I'm, I'm not gonna call the cops because you guys are cool people and I get it. It's, 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 it's like, oh, they're having this party for whatever. Okay. But I'm just sitting there just like watching YouTube. And when I have my TV turned down to the very like quietest thing, because I'm just sitting there trying to go to sleep too. And then I'll see her. Wahoo! <laughs> like from outside the window, it's like, <laughs> hey guys, <laughs> it's a Tuesday. <laughs> I don't know. I never really felt like I was that friendly neighbor, but that's just because like my antisocial ass, you know. Well, but my grandparents yeah. fucking, they'd be cool with whoever. It's but not I'll just that. Be like, no, it's dude. not that me myself is like friendly with the people around me, but I'm like. I've been the person that's making really loud noises, you know? Right. And yeah. people have put up with that either in the house or outside of it, whoever heard it, you know? Right. So, and then you're just thankful for them not calling the like, cops or like... It's like, yes, I'm annoyed, but come on. <laughs> now, most of the time, I just be nosy and like minding my P's and Q's and shit, like... Some of my neighbors, they'd be getting into it or some shit be going down, you know? But I'm like, no, 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 I'm not going to call the cops on you, but... Like, at the, at, at that point, to it, like, when I, I'm like, come on, I'll just open the window and just sit there with, like, my ear on the screen door being like, what are you all <laughs> talking about? Like, trying yeah, to listen to it, like... <laughs> it's like, this is louder than my TV, might as well turn that off and just listen, but... <laughs> <clears throat> Guys, any you guys listen to any new music lately? No, not too um, much. No. Well, all right. Go fuck uh, myself. There's nothing new out. I know J nah, Cole right. just dropped a fucking album, and he did his reply to Kendrick. Um, he did what the fuck? Yeah, J Cole dropped right, a surprise album. Um, and it features his response to Kendrick Lamar, and yeah, that's pretty much that. I'm not huge on explaining, or I'm not good at explaining that kind of stuff, so I'll leave that to Cyrus when he gets back. If we hey, want to revisit this, Cyrus. yeah, <laughs> but uh, yeah, that was kind of cool. Um, still go Kendrick, but anyways. <laughs> Fucking, uh, I think I heard, I don't know if he dropped it already or not. I don't know if it was just like a, a song or a whole ass album, but I think uh, uh, Mexican OT is supposed to come out with some new shit here soon. Oh, you know what? If he hasn't um, already. The Black Keys have a new album coming out, and there's a new song. Well, there's three new songs that they dropped um, off of their new album, This Is Nowhere, I'm pretty sure. And of course, mm -hmm. that song, they dropped and then two other ones but uh if you guys don't know that band that band's fucking awesome they started out of a garage it's just 
two fucking guys singing like uh rockabilly well not rock rockabilly i guess it's more like rock and blues but okay. uh it's fucking good i like them a lot oh yeah Okay, um, I've got a new idea. I want us all to come up with a t-shirt design, and then I want to make a run of each of these t-shirts with whatever design we want, and see if we can sell them, because I think it'd be fun. That'd be tight. Cobros merch? Yeah, Cobros dude. t-shirt? Just come up with a super simple design. Right. Um, oh yeah, dude. Like, why not? It, too. I like the idea of a super simple design, but when it comes to me drawing, if I have an idea, I'm not gonna make it simple. Then don't. That's even better. I'm just, fucking I'm Cindy. just saying, keep it simple to be nice, right? But if you're gonna go all out, please fucking do. I haven't drawn in a long time, honestly. But uh, I mean, it can be even as simple. As uh, this, I'll send it in group chat. But I just came up with that in five minutes, and I was just bullshitting. And I just drew the t shirt around it because it kind of fit. But uh, <laughs> just uh, give it a shot, see what you can come up with. Because I think that'd be a fun uh, the messenger chat with Hilmar. But, um, yeah, sorry. No, you're good. Yeah, I've been wanting to draw again. Hell yeah. And why not, I, I, right? Then we just get I've someone that can put it on a computer and bada boom. Sorry. I've been, I've been wanting to fucking play piano again too and stuff, but I fucking don't got a keyboard. It's been so long since I've seen a fucking piano. I like that shit. Yeah. That's cool. I felt that. Not the piano part, but the drawing. Because when I was younger, I used to like to draw hella tough, bro, and like I always wanted, I always thought, like, oh, if I grew up, like, damn, I'd like to be a cartoonist. And then I gave up on that shit, you know? Yeah. I think we were having this conversation the other day in fucking Discord. I don't know if it was all of us, but I think I was having it with uh, with Bjorn. And we were just talking about, like, old shit that we used to be into that we kind of, like, gave up on along the line. I don't remember if I was having that conversation with you or not, Bjorn, but yeah. It sounds familiar. It sounds like a typical... 3 a.m. sad Brandon moment. Yeah. <laughs> hey, that design looks pretty tight, though, David. I fuck with it. <laughs> fucking A. No, but yeah, dude, fucking, like, I've been thinking about fucking drawing again, fucking writing again, fucking a lot of shit. But it's kind of just like getting the motivation or like sending it, you know? Just doing yeah. it. Yeah, fucking A. Um, alright. I feel like I had a game to talk about. Um, I got myself a notebook to start writing my ideas in. And I have absolutely no fucking clue where it's at. So, that's good. Um, <laughs> yeah. I got a backbone. That's cool. That's been fun. What is the backbone? I, I saw that. I have no idea what that thing is. It's basically yeah, just I'm a confused. controller that you slide your phone into. So either you buy an Android or an Apple version, and uh, then you download the Xbox app, and stream your games from your Xbox to your phone. And you just use the backbone as your controller. So uh, oh. for traveling huh. and stuff like that, or... Even if, like, Grace is watching TV and I want to play a game, I can do that. I just have to have a headset that I can plug an audio jack into the backbone. Because it takes the Bluetooth away. Or something. I don't know. Yeah. it It's a little goofy, but That's it's not crazy. bad. I, I bet I could fucking hook up my headphones to my phone if I really wanted to. But yeah, I like playing with the backbone. Um... You know, the main main thing is having good enough service to run games at uh, full resolution. 
Otherwise, you get like a weird skipping screen. But I don't know. I like it. We travel a lot, you know, and uh, you can have the Xbox app linked to your Xbox. And then you can have the app then automatically turn on your Xbox when you want to stream it to your phone. So they really make it fucking easy. Hell yeah. That's pretty cool. Oh, excuse me, sir. You're good. Hell and then, uh, yeah, so it works for Xbox, obviously. And then I can download the Steam app, too, and play all my Steam games. And then there's a PlayStation-specific one. But, uh, you know, I don't need that. I don't need that. <laughs> but, yeah, it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. Were you going to say something, Garen? Did you call me? No, I, I was just saying hell yeah on the thing. but I had Oh, I, I heard uh, hell yeah. I was like, what's up? Yeah, I had st no, I had stuff in my throat. So I was like, oh, yeah. <laughs> oh. Well, fucking a. But yeah. You talking about that backbone kind of reminded me of uh, you know, the portable monitor I just got recently. Yeah. Yeah, I've been fucking with that hella tough and taking it with me as well. Like uh, when was it? I don't know if it was last weekend or the weekend before. We ended up getting a room at Boomtown. Uh. Because Destiny's mom ended up getting us a room, and they also got themselves a room. Nice. And I had looked at that with me, so it was pretty tight. Yeah, Destiny was just chilling, watching whatever the fuck on the TV, and I was just chilling on my portable monitor. It's a, it's a nice commodity, having the casinos to kind of just go spend a weekend at, or even just a night, just to get away. Yeah, bro, it really does a lot. Like, just to kind of because most of the time we go to GSR, but Boomtown is nice. It's nice. Hell yeah! If you go just a bit further too to uh, what is that casino out there? Oh, it's not Gold Dust. Gold. Oh. Uh, Something gold. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. Anyways, Maybe. you can go out there and buy fucking lottery tickets. Oh. uh... Just out there, uh, at my Verdi. Yeah, whatever. right before you leave town. It, because it's just over the state line. Yeah. At that little like, truck stop thing there. I forget what restaurant's there, but I know what you mean. It's right before you go in between the mountains to go up to Truckee and then Bellinger and all that. That's another thing we should do is go spend a weekend up at Donner. That place is awesome. Yeah, dude. God, bro, spend no, December at Donner Pass. <laughs> or even, bro, when you have a boys' night too, bro, like, like I was Gold talking about, like, sorry, Gold Ranch. Whether I'm done. <laughs> um, but like, you know, I was talking about next time Colton comes into town or whatever, like we should have a boys' night. But I feel like we should start doing that even more too, like, dude, like, and. You know, every other weekend Bro, or whatever, just fucking. You haven't seen out. the fucking table gave us or Bill gave us for the podcast hub. Um, table? It's a gaming table, and yeah, Gosh. there's there's uh, so it has leaves in it. You know what I mean, like the leaves that make the table longer, or you can take them out. But mm -hmm. the leaves in this one, you just take them out, and it reveals a felt lined like gaming table where you can throw dice and whatever so i want to have like poker nights and shit like that where we just yeah, come yeah, sit at the yeah. table and fucking throw down for a couple hours you know or fucking yeah, yeah. lay a board game out and play for fucking 14 hours straight like that's yeah. what i want to do that sounds fun fuck yeah bro oh but yeah dude fucking i'm trying to go out kick it with the boys more often you know play pool fucking bowling or some shit bro like even like you said how you were like oh you're trying to go camping more like i'm hella down bro sounds like the last time i went camping was when me sadie and you david all those people went oh fuck yeah, yeah dude. that was I fun Dude, it's going to be so fun to take Ellie out camping. 
and take her hiking and like fucking search for crystals and shit or just all around just in general like hiking with the kiddos is gonna be so much fun you know Yeah, at least post tomorrow, but at the same time, I'm like, she's, she's, she's starting to get, it. I thought it was going to be terrible twos, and then I thought it was going to be terrible threes, she's fucking horrible fours, so far, <laughs> it's good most of the time, but sometimes it's like, oh, Ellie, it's about your lunchtime, what do you want to eat, and she's like, I'm not hungry, and it's like, okay, well, when you do get hungry, what should I make so that you do get So you want to eat something? She goes, I'm not hungry. And it's like, okay. And then you, you can eat something cold then. Like, goddamn, kid. Yeah, She's no like, shit. goodbye. You gotta love that. You gotta love that stage of uh, childhood. Because you're just like, man, I, I love you so much, but you really just, you're testing my patience for you. Especially when you're just trying to help. <laughs> yeah, sorry. There you go, dirt. David, there's an image for you to use. Okay. She'll yell, and then I'll be like, okay, well, I'll do this. And she's like, stop being mean to me. And I was like, you stop being mean to me. You're yelling at me. I'm right. just talking to you. Right. She, she was taking a bath yesterday, and she was like, Dad, check this out. And she had this little toy that, like, she could fill up with water and nothing. She squeezed it and nothing happened. And I was like, okay. Keep it in the bathtub. Don't spray any water out here. And she was like, okay. Three seconds later, she's like, hey, Dad, look at this. It just, like, sprayed so much water onto me, like, <laughs> 30 minutes before I had to go to or I get hours out before I had to go to work, but it fucking soaked one of the side of my jeans. <laughs> you went to work looking like you pissed yourself? Like, literally, almost, yeah. <laughs> fucking A. Yeah, it's, um, like we say, it's just, that's perks of dad life, parent life in general. Dad life. But, uh... Sidebar, but it just it came to my mind because you guys were talking about kids and shit. Now, like, you guys ever been, uh, geocaching? Oh, geocaching no. Geocaching. geocaching, though. Geocaching, yeah, that shit. No, I've seen I've it all over the place. Yeah. Bro, it's basically like you go on a scavenger hunt type shit. Yeah. And you go looking for like, uh, what's it called? In a way, they're kind of like time capsules, but more or less just like shit that's hidden. And it can be anything, but most of the time it's just like when you find it, it's like a note and then it's got people's names and like their dates. And sometimes people just leave shit, you know? Um, But they could be hella different. And like I remember one time when I, when I was a kid and I went with my cousin We ended up finding one, and it was like a sculpture that someone had welded out of out of metal or like That's I don't even know, but it was with. a scorpion, bro. Like, thanks, thanks, man. It was like, but I think it was all fucking like wrenches and shit and fucking, That's dope. or it was a chain. But yeah, it was it was a scorpion, bro. And I'm like, dude, if you ever get into something like that, if you you know, y'all should do that. That's just pretty fun. Yeah, I didn't know that it was around, like, when we were kids. I, I've heard of that, like, just recently. Yeah. Yeah, I used to do that a lot with my cousins. And what reminded me of that, I think, earlier I was talking to Noah, and he was telling me something about Pokemon Go. And I was like, yeah, no, I don't play that shit, but that's what that reminded me of, that. Fuck like, it. if you need fucking shit to do with your kids or whatever, you know? Fucking yeah. Pokemon Go as a squad. No, I was talking about geocaching, but yeah, sure. But, you know. We well, fuck Pokemon you then. The I'm just together. fucking poking your mon, you dick. God damn. Well, in that case. Nice. Poke your mon till he goes to the polls. Yeah. Nice. Dude, catch them all. Well, speaking of the catch em all game, I've heard that one's getting a lot of updates. That one might be worth going back to. A little bit of Power World in our future. World. Yep. So as a fun Dude, I haven't fact, played that in a minute. Um, 
I actually deleted a bunch of space on my computer to install the Arc Ascendant Edition since it's on uh, Game Pass now. That's fair, because I have that installed as well, and I will try that out with you. Um, if Mike Taco gets wind of that, he will be um, hard at you the idea play. of you playing Arc Ascended, because he yeah, loves cause that I, fucking I, game. I, I, tr I tried it on the just streaming it. To see how it looked. Uh huh. And uh, yeah. Fucking decent. I have to install it on my computer to play it, but for sure. It, well, it, it was very, it was very choppy streaming it. It looks like <laughs> it was, we've uh, got some arc in our future, and uh, I'm sure Cyrus is just excited, nonetheless. Cyrus is gonna s to say the least. If, if he I mean... plays it on his computer, I think he'll enjoy it more than he's ever had, because it is a lot different than original arc yeah a lot but a little it, it's no it's original arc just on unreal engine no, it it plays different at least on the controller i never played it on either, uh, that one on computer but on controller the controls were slightly different on, on a bunch of different things that i was trying to do same game though i get what you mean like it, same game just different. It's easier menus to do stuff. I think that I'd agree with for sure. But no, I'm uh I'm down to play a little bit of that with you because I I still enjoy Ark. Um, the Icarus grind is back. Um, if anybody wants to hop on that server, Bill has that one back up. That game is not too bad. Um, and yeah, I'm with that. Final Fantasy 14 right now. Oh, yeah, yeah, we were talking about that last week, right? There's the a free trial for imaginary it right now too, last by the week. Way. My arc is at 58% downloaded. Yeah, it's there's, been cruising there's a... for like six hours or four <laughs> hours at three megabytes a second. Fucking A. There's a free trial for Final Fantasy 14 right now because they're getting ready to drop a new expansion soon. For sure. I don't know if it's been in the store or if they just now put it in the store recently, but I just recently seen that they put uh, Street Fighter Six in the store. I was like, what? Oh damn! Okay. That game's pretty. All right. I haven't played much of it, but like I played a little bit with the homie. Yeah. When he sure played it once upon a time, and it's pretty tight. Plus, you know, the whole fucking open world shit. Yeah. Yeah. Well, fucking a. We're uh, we're just over an hour. If you guys want to wrap it up, anybody else have anything to add? Don't be silly. Wrap your willy. Nice. It's good life good advice. advice. Or don't and fuck it. Live with the consequences. <laughs> I'm gonna fuck it. All right. Just well, make sure you live with the consequences. Yeah. Yeah. Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining us for episode 140. 140. Um, be sure to tune in next week. And catch us subscribe. down in the link tree below. And yeah, subscribe. And like. It helps us out. We like you. Like us. Back. Please. We're desperate. Bitches. No, don't to call them bitches. We're desperate. Yeah, sorry. You're not bitches. 200 bitches. subs. Before Cyrus and Oscar come back. Hey, that, that he is, drew. That, that, that is what and I David drew during the podcast. This is, this is what will come for you if you ear. don't subscribe. He, he's it, showing a, a dragon on screen. It's yeah, a big see, monster. I drew this. It, it's it's, it's going gonna, it's gonna to go out of that volcano there if you don't subscribe. Uh-oh. Oh, oh that's, that's what the guys in the picture that I sent are summoning. Oh, you, you better subscribe now, <laughs> or, 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 or a bull. A bull? Yeah. His name is a bull. I'm coming for y'all if you don't subscribe. All right, that's it. You I heard it here that. first. You're not as scary as a bull there. But, but look I at that. I will be once you that, crash that, me that. outside your window. 
that that's what that's what Hilmar is Hilmar's final form right there. Hilmar will emerge from the volcano as a dragon. <laughs> Hilmar, you don't want to do that. <laughs> All right, thank you, ladies and gentlemen. See you guys next week. Toodles. <laughs>